Hey guys, it's Tiffany from 2B Toys, and today is an exciting video. We have Wave 2 Incredibles posable 4 inch figures. Let's get them out of the box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to 2B Toys, and if you haven't rang that notification bell, make sure you do. You'll be the first person to get notified every time we post a new video or host a giveaway. Let's get started. As you've seen for our other videos, we have many unboxings of Incredibles 2 figures by Jack Specific. So we were super excited. So we just ordered a whole case from Entertainment Earth. It finally came today and I do see a lot of doubles in here, but there really wasn't a big rollout. So whatever I don't have, so whatever duplicates I have, I'm gonna set them to the side. I'm holding a lot for our 10,000 subscriber giveaway. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let's get them out of the box. So I see a lot of Mr. Incredible in his original suit. The screen sleeve, I just want to make sure everybody's in here. Underminer, excellent. Okay, so we have everybody and we have, let's see, only one. There's two Elastigirl in her dev tech suit. One screen sleeve, one underminer, two Edna and Fire Jack Jack, and there are six Mr. Incredible in his original super suit. That's crazy. So those Screenslaver and Underminer figures are going to be super hard to find. So I'm only going to take out what I need, I'm keeping the rest in the box. I want to keep the cards as mint as possible for whomever gets them. Hey guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel by clicking that red subscribe button. If you're watching YouTube Kids, make sure you click the red gem to subscribe. <laughs> it's Toopy Toys. This is so cool. Look at Screen Slaver inside of the package. I almost don't even want to take him out. He comes with two accessories. That is the laptop. And we see here, <gasps> there's like that hypnosis screen on the laptop that we didn't see in the original photos. And we have this like stun gun here. I guess that's, I forgot what that did. But anyway, let me know in the comments below what it does. And he's wearing his goggles. Super awesome. You can see the other figures in this line and on the back it also says supervillain the screen slaver devises an escalating trio of high-powered public events for elastigirl to solve screen slaver projects intense hypnotic light patterns onto screens of every type to hypnotize and take control of his victims now we don't know who screen slaver is if you haven't seen the movie i'm not going to give it away so i'm going to be as ambiguous as possible i do know who screen slaver is you don't have to tell me but if you want to you can and here we have edna there's two figures in this pack this is the second wave to edna that we got the original one came actually that's the third one the original was in the soup junior supers and she also had her own posable figure there is mr incredible and in his in his classic super suit so like i said depending on where you're going to buy these from most likely they're going to be on target and walmart shelves within like the coming weeks so just you know, if you want to wait, do so. Now here's Elastigirl. She actually comes with the goggles where, when she's hypnotized. Here is the Underminer, and he has his microphone. I'm so happy they came out with some villains. There you have it, Wave 2, Incredibles 2. I also picked up the Wave 1 Elastigirl and Mr. Incredible. Mr. Incredible is wearing his redesigned super suit and so is Elastigirl, she's wearing her dev tech suit. I didn't have this set from wave one, I didn't think I needed it and I'm like, you know what, maybe I should just pick it up and this was, there were so many of these on the shelves and I said, why not? So now I have completed wave one and I have completed wave two. I'm gonna show you wave one and then we'll dig into wave two. Let's start with Dash. Wave one didn't really come with that many accessories. I see more accessories with wave two. These are really super poseable figures. I think originally I liked Junior Supers a lot. I really like Junior Supers, I do. But if you want like a fully articulating figure, you're gonna get that with the four inch figures. They are so awesome. And look at Dash's face. He's all scrunched up, he's like ready to run. Here we have Mr. Incredible and he is super poseable too. His arms go out, his elbows bend and his head turns. He has separate joints for each leg. He just doesn't bend at the knee. Here we have Elastigirl, and Elastigirl's arm actually comes off. You can remove her right arm and replace it with her Elasta arm. Kind of wish they included 
both and then we have Frozone who came with his ice sled and he just attaches onto there and he is so poseable too I love the way that you can pose him in this stance because it looks like just like from the movie whenever he's telling people to freeze And we have Violet and she came with her own force field that attaches to her hands. And the force field actually pieces together too. All of them pretty much stand up on their own pretty well, except Violet. She is the hardest one to stand on her own. But she is poseable, she is cool. I don't think she's as pretty as the Junior Supers version, but I'll take her. I love that her hair is actually Violet. Last but not least, we have this cutie over here. We have baby Jack Jack. He's so cute and he is poseable. His legs don't move, but his arms do and he stands beautifully. Let's open up Wave 1's Elastigirl and Mr. Incredible. See, the box isn't any different than the Wave 2 version, except Wave 2 has different pictures of Elastigirl and Mr. Incredible. Here's Mr. Incredible in his shiny super suit. And posability, he is just as posable as his regular super suit counterpart. Let me know which one you think is better in the comments below. I like the shimmery one better because I like shiny things. Might like this one better. Let me know which one you like better in the comments below. I actually see a lot of like paint issues here though. Like you see like the eye, like the bleed is off over here. But that's okay. We're playing with these folks. I'm not displaying them. We play with them and we have fun with them. So it's okay to have a little bit of paint issues here and there. Now we have Elastigirl in her DevTech suit. The suit's technology was controlled by Evelyn Dever with the addition of a camera in the elastigirl symbol interesting now does her arm come off like the other one oh my gosh it does now the thing is i'm noticing some color differences in this version compared to wave two so we probably won't be able to match up the arm but let's see if i could put the arm from the original super suit in just for good measure and we could do an arm switch up does not want to go in this one was a lot easier see it goes in perfectly doesn't want to go in this feels like a much harder plastic too I like the shininess of this one I don't see that in wave 2 but we'll have to compare in a bit now I know you guys probably want me to open up wave 2 already let's get started don't forget to give this video a thumbs up guys we're so close to 10k subscribers please share with your friends let everybody know about Tubi Toys please guys we want to hear from you too if you're new here let me know in the comments below so I can say hello alright I'm gonna open up screen slaver first I'm gonna start with the one I would want to start with and that's this villain right here I think one of the craziest super villains I think in a long time time I love it I don't even want to open the box but I have to the way his stance is is amazing brilliant brilliant Jack specific look at this unreal if you haven't seen the movie who do you think screenslaver is who do you think is behind that mask and by the stance of it, if you know who I'm talking about, it looks kind of like Ed Grimley. <laughs> his head turns, his arms go up and around. Does not have joints to the legs, but he is really poseable. He's going to do some nice splits. Unbelievable. Looks too good. Let's see. Screen saver will stand up. Yes. Excellent. I already separated his ah his laptop. Okay, here we have the laptop. And we have like his like uh control stick or something. Looks like he's going to a barbecue. Hey! Where are my hot dogs? All right, let's open up the Underminer, and he has his own microphone. The Underminer is a supervillain known for his catchphrase, I am always beneath you, but nothing is beneath me. Master of the world below, 
he pops up at the most surprising times. Again, there was only one of these underminers in the assortment that I ordered, so it's unfortunate that the two most sought after figures are gonna be also the hardest to get. So good luck, guys. If you see them, grab them if you can. If I see more, I will definitely include them in the giveaway. I doubt it, though. I was in Target the other day, and the funny thing was, there was a lot of people looking for these figures. And it's not like I live in like a community of collectors, so it's just so crazy how popular they are. So here we have the Underminer, and he can hold his microphone so he could talk into it and scream off that catchphrase. And what's super awesome is how posable he is. Now, can we remove the cape? The cape is removable. It's good. Okay, so I got the cape off. Perfect. Now he has like these two holes just sitting there. But let's just see how posable he is. I'm going to get this microphone out of his hand. He doesn't need it right now. His arms can go up and around. His little hand, oh, it twists 360 degrees. He can bend his arms at the elbow too, so he has nice joints there. Pretty loose joints. Only thing is his, well, his feet kind of move. Yeah, his feet do move, but his legs don't. That's cool. It kind of tight the feet and his head moves as well. Whoa. So multiple points of articulation here and they are super posable as the packaging says. It didn't say that in the first wave. So they pretty much are banking on the posability of these figures. Definitely worth it. Love them already. And the underminer is so cool. I know he's gonna stand up perfectly. Yes, he does. Perfection. Who should we open up next? I am going to open up Elastigirl. Includes the goggles and her stretchy arm. Elastigirl can bend, stretch, and twist herself into any form. As a stay-at-home parent to the PARS three children, she's kept she kept her superhero identity dormant for many years, but comes out of retirement when she's recruited to lead a campaign to make supers legal again. Gotta love Elastigirl. Girl power. Here we have Elastigirl in her DevTech suit. She also has a removable arm, and this is actually her right arm. And the goggles, they flew somewhere. Here are her goggles, and what's cool about these goggles is that they're, the actual lens is translucent, so that's really awesome. Let's put them on her. I like that they're translucent. I was talking to a subscriber and um, a friend of mine, his name is uh, Frozen McNuggets. He has a really cool channel too. You should check him out. He actually thinks the goggles are a little bit too big for her face. I, let me try to get them on her face. Um, I think they're pretty okay. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But I do love that you can see her eyes, but it kinda doesn't look like she's hypnotized, just looks like she's wearing some nice fancy glasses. This arm is kind of translucent, like not quite see-through, but it's getting there, which I think is really cool. And comparing it to this Elastigirl with her Elasta arm. And then we have this Elastigirl Wave 1 DevTech suit. Pretty awesome. Let's see if we could switch out the goggles. You definitely can. And let's see if we can give her this arm because it looks pretty pretty cool like that. No, oh yes you can. Nice. <laughs> wow, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Let's get her their limbs back in order here. I want to see like a switching body parts video of <laughs> the Incredibles. Let's see how poseable she is, and then we'll move on to our next set of figures to open. Her arms go up and down. Her legs bend at the hips. No joints at the knee. Her head turns all the way around. She's got five points of articulation. She is super poseable. What's nice is that you can remove her right arm and add the elasta arm for added action scenes. Whoa, and you can remove her leg. <laughs> Anybody standing like that, you could totally knock them down, right? 
Fantasy Perfection. We have Edna and Jack Jack as Fire Jack Jack, and we have Mr. Incredible. I'm gonna have to go with Mr. Incredible, save the best for last for me. Here we have Mr. Incredible in his classic super suit. Mr. Incredible is everyone's favorite super dad. His mega strength and invulnerability combined with his uncanny ability to sense danger make him a crime fighter extraordinaire. That's actually one of the best blurbs I've read about him so far. So true. He is like super dad for real. And the dad from Poltergeist. Okay guys, here we have him in his super suit and look, <gasps> ooh, it's nice and like tight joints which I like for a posable figure. I don't like it when they're too loose. This is great. He has no joints in his knee, bends at the hip, they don't share a joint which is good. Turns his head and it's all the same gestures. Look, how, look at that, he's so strong. Which Mr. Incredible is your favorite? Is it the family super suit, the new and improved super suit, or is it his classic super suit? I kind of have to go with the classic. I love the Incredibles logo here. I love that it's a single eye. Even though I know there's a meaning for this Incredibles logo, I just love the way this looks. All right, adding them to the pile. Last but not least, whoa, we have Edna and Jack-Jack. Edna, Edna E. Mode may be a world famous fashion designer, but this three foot tall dynamo would rather be creating super suits in her secret lab than working with models in Milan. Jack-Jack. Like most toddlers, Jack-Jack Parr enjoys making messes at mealtime, getting into things he shouldn't, and chiming in on family conversations with his enthusiastic babble. Unlike most toddlers and unbeknownst to his family, he's actually a polymorph with multiple hidden super abilities. Guys, do you know how many hidden abilities he has? Let me know in the comments below. OMG, how cute is he? I'm so happy we have a posable figure for Fire Jack Jack. They did come out with a Wave 2 version of those Junior Supers. His hair is aflame. He's got flames on his arms, almost totally translucent with just some paint spatter over here, like on his face and on his tummy that really adds some more depth. I love it. His arms are posable and his legs move. Oh, that's great. Let's compare him to his regular counterpart, which did not have posable legs, just arms. So this time around, his legs can move. see in terms of height are they the same height they're definitely not the same height but of course you know fire jack jack has flames that are higher than baby jack jack's little tuft of hair All right, i can't get him to stand up i think it's because just really really top heavy top heavy but there he is and with him we got his new best pal edna mode and she's wearing her outfit from incredibles too she has glasses and her signature hairstyle and that signature mug on her face. We love Edna and we I cannot wait to see the new short that's going to be released with the DVD. We're going to be able to see what happened when Mr. Incredible dropped off baby Jack-Jack to Edna's house. How that whole babysitting situation went. Now do her glasses come off? No, but they are flexible. You can't take them off of her face. Let's see how poseable she is. Her head spins 360. She has kind of has like a rubbery arm. Just goes up and down. Oh, her legs move. It's almost like you could pull them out. Kind of rubbery. She looks really awesome though. Oh my goodness. She looks really awesome. Let's see if she can stand up. Ah, they can't. We have all of wave one and wave two right in front of us. Before I end the video, I just wanted to show you guys some another fun set of figures that I found at Five Below. Originally in my last wave two video, I had shown you this and I said I was gonna buy more if I found them. Well, I found them and I bought more because I'm obsessed with getting Jack-Jack totem poles. So cute. And I also found this. It is Mr. Incredible with Dash. 
five belows to look for them and I only found him and Les Girl. I would imagine they have a Violet though and I'm sure she's going to be really cool. Here is Dash and he has a stand so that's good. I can stand up and then we have Mr. Incredible and I thought that it was kind of funny the way he was standing. I'm going to get to that in a minute. They're not posable or anything. They're just stationary figures on stands. And I'll just open up this Elastigirl for you. Now I'm surprised nobody pointed out our last video um, how she's standing. She actually looks like the original McDonald's figure. And so does Mr. Incredible. Here we have our Jack-Jack totem pole when he multiplies himself when he is fighting the raccoon. Now I also wanted to point out Frozen McNuggets again, shout out to you. You actually pointed out the McDonald's Happy Meal Mr. Incredible that I had was actually from the Pixar Happy Meal set. You are absolutely right. When I had purchased the Incredibles Happy Meal set originally off of eBay, the seller sent me the wrong Mr. Incredible. So here we have part one original McDonald's The Incredibles. Here we go, see look in there as well. So we know it's that. I'm going to open it for you now to redeem myself up in here. So here he is. He looks almost identical to the other one, but this one moves. Whoa, this is a cool one. That's awesome. I'm kind of upset that I didn't have the right one now. Nothing ever works out for me in terms of these things. Well, here you have it. We have wave one and wave two of the complete four inch posables by Jack Specific. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Tubi Toys. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you haven't already, ring that notification bell. Every time we post a new video or host a giveaway, you'll be the first one to get notified. Next giveaway is at 10K subscribers. Let's make it happen. Please share, like, subscribe. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Yeah, 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 ah! Oh.